gorditas is the new gordita and puffy taco spot on the south side. Hi, welcome to Lala's. How can I help you? They're serving up authentic homemade gorditas stuffed with your option of chicken or beef, lettuce, tomatoes, and sour cream. And so this is, I mean, it's the name of the place. Hey, you know that's what you want to get right there. It's the gordita. This is their beef gordita and it's stuffed with all that house-made beef that they do right here. Tomatoes, lettuce. They got a little bit of sour cream on there as well, a little bit of crema on there. They got their house-made salsa as well. I'm just gonna light that up right there on top. This is what you look forward to. Oh my God. That is, <laughs> that's phenomenal. The beef seasoned majestically. The actual gordita itself cooked to perfection. This is fantastic. This is heaven. Also on the menu, puffy tacos. Everything's made from scratch, it's fresh, it's delicious, and just look at that. This one is a chicken one. So they got chicken, they have beef, they have guac, I mean, all different options. This is fantastic. The chicken, seasoned exceptionally well. Everything, all the toppings, fresh, they're cutting it right there. This is where it's at, y'all. What did you I've had the puppy tacos and the gorditas, and they're, they're excellent. Uh, the the masa is fresh. First time, what did you think about the food? Well, it was very good, very good. The restaurant is the newest idea from the family who brought San Antonio, the Taco Hut, and Teca Molina. Well, the Pizzini family has been in the food business since 1938. My aunt Ernestine Chapa Pizzini, or Ernestine Pizzini Chapa, started the Teca Molina in 1938. And since then, the Pizzini family has been serving Tex-Mex food to San Antonio since 1938. My dad started the Taco Hut in 1958, and I just recently opened Lala's in January. January 22nd was our opening day. The stone ground grown masa is made with a piece of history, a device made in the 1930s. Have you ever heard of stone ground masa? Oh, yeah. These are the stones right here. When Stephen opened the restaurant and I walked in, I went, it smells like home, yeah. because you can smell the masa and, and all the cooking that's going on. Even though we've got an Italian last name, our grandmother was a Benya, so uh, a lot of the recipes are hers. The restaurant is located next to an outdoor market, serving fresh fruits and vegetables and offers plenty of outdoor seating. I had the chicken gorditas, it was super amazing. I had the uh, three puffy uh, beef tacos, guacamole cup, awesome, tastes like the original taco hut. It was delicious. They're, they're really good. I had been seeing it as I passed by and so I wanted to stop. The gorditas and puffy tacos are the highlights on the menu, but their avocado and bean cup are just as unique and delicious. A great beer and some great Mexican food. This is why I love San Antonio. So this is their guacamole cup. Let's try this one out here. That is life changing. <laughs> wow. They also got their bean cups. Now this is bean and cheese right here. It's just the same cup that's right there. Cooked perfectly, fried, crispy on the outside, nice and chewy when you bite into it. Mm. All their salsas made fresh in house over here. That's what's up. Mm. This is authentic, delicious Tex-Mex right here. The Pizzini family has a long history providing San Antonio with amazing food, and Lola's Gorditas is another great addition to their legacy. I have a fabulous staff. My customers seem to be coming from far and wide, and they all, to date, have been very appreciative of what we're doing here and the quality and the, the taste of our food, so we hope to continue that. Have you been out here already? Uh, fifth time. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic owners. What a great history here in San Antonio. You guys, Lala's Gorditas right here off Roosevelt on the south side, everything is delicious. I mean, this is hands down some of the best food I've had doing this job. The salsas are fantastic. Everything's a win. And it's a great atmosphere, wonderful outdoor seating on a nice day. This is where it's at, y'all. Now, we're going to Dignity Hills at Alamo Beer Company for a food truck serving traditional chicken and fried favorites with a twist. This is Buffalo Snacks Food Truck. Zachary 
Ramirez, his sister, and his friend operate the food truck and serve up some delicious grub. I've always wanted to open my own business. Uh, I, wings have always been my passion, and I really didn't like some of the ones from the bigger national chain. So I was like, you know what? If I take this, I can go ahead and make it my own. And that's what I try to do. Like my flavors are, I guess they're like the the normal, but I put my own twist on all of them. Snacks food truck is serving up an asada grilled cheese sandwich. Get this with fried pickles on the inside and barbecue sauce. All right, y'all. So you've seen grilled cheese sandwiches, but you've never seen one like this. Check that out. Bam! This one has fried pickles on the inside, barbecue sauce, white American cheese, comes with fried pickles on the side. You got a little bit of ranch with some of their seasoning on there as well. I mean, this right here is like the holy grail of flavors that you can get. This barbecue sauce and fried pickles inside there, so it's gonna cut through the fat really well with all that flavor. And look, it's just melty, just hanging out the side. Shut it down, man. Shut it down! Man, that is really good. And they're making the barbecue sauce right here in house. They saw that once again cooked perfectly. The fried pickles in there set it over the top, I'm telling you. That's wrong. <laughs> Mm. Maybe five, ten thousand calories, but that's delicious. And when Zach isn't cooking food, order up. He's busy saving lives. I'm not cooking wings. I'm also a paramedic. I work in Wilson County District Two, uh, so I do that Monday through Wednesday. Thursday is like my prep day, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday is when I'm selling. I'm only open on the weekends as of now, but eventually I would like to be open full schedule. But it's kind of hard right now. Also on the menu. Hand breaded Parmesan lime boneless chicken wings and spicy hot boneless chicken wings. This is Parmesan lime boneless chicken wings, and it's different because everybody's like, oh, well, lemon pepper. Calm down. I swear, you have one bite of these, you're not gonna go anywhere else. You're gonna want the Parmesan lime that they got out here. Coming up, we go inside the food truck and get a taste of their fresh cut cheesy asada fries. Stay right here on Elder Eats. Buffalo Snacks Food Truck is serving up traditional fried favorites with a twist. Like their cheesy asada fries that use fresh cut potatoes. The fries get topped with freshly cooked asada, cheese, nacho cheese, and barbecue sauce, and served with a lime wedge. So they're using house cut french fries, they're using all this asada meat that they're making right here, and they're putting American cheese on top with their own blend of seasoning. And yes, I did put some lime juice on top of there because they got fresh limes they're serving up. But just look at that. Oh man, that was really good, and it smells, oh it smells so good. And it's fresh cut fries, so you know the texture is gonna be great. Let me high five, man. High five. The presentation's fantastic. The meat, the texture is, is great. It's a home run. The fried pickles are exquisite, seasoned perfectly with a great crunch. You guys gotta come out here. Their food is delicious. Find them on social media, Buffalo Snacks. You can hashtag it, you can look them up. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. But right now, they're today out here at the Alamo Beer Company, which they're serving up delicious beer as well. The official beer supplier of the Commanders. I mean, this is great food, a great beer, and it's a really nice day. This is, it's just a good day. Now, let's head to Perrin Vital for a quick bite from Good Fire Barbecue. Good Fire Barbecue has a ton of options on the menu. Not that it <laughs> but their standouts are their turkey sandwich with block, nacho cheese, and jalapenos made on freshly baked buns, and their huge loaded chopped beef baked potatoes. Check out this massive sandwich they got out here. This is their turkey sandwich, and they're doing the Southwest style. That means they got guac on the bottom. They're putting queso on there, and they got jalapenos on there as well with their house smoked turkey, and they're making this bread fresh in house as well. That is amazing. Oh my goodness, the bread they're making right here, it's tender, it's delicious, it's fluffy. It's almost like a biscuit, like a fluffy biscuit. We would come back just for that sandwich. But check this thing out. This is a huge baked potato. It's got chopped beef inside. You have the bacon on top, chives, sour cream, melted cheese, and a little bit of butter on there as well. I mean, and this thing is, is massive. This is big, that's a big old potato. Here we go. 
chopped beef, fantastic. Great barbecue flavor to it. The potatoes cook perfectly. Located right across the street from Chacho's and Chaluchi's off Perrin Bottle. You guys gotta come check out Good Fire Barbecue. Come out here for this sandwich. I'm telling you, you're gonna get the turkey sandwich, get it Southwest style, the guac, everything is delicious. And they're also making margaritas. They got beers in house. It's goodness. Coming up, Pinch Boyle House is live here at Market Square just in time for crawfish season. So stay tuned right here on Elder Eats. Welcome back to Elder Eats and SA Live here on KSAT 12. Well, it is crawfish season. It's up and running right now. So we got some live crawfish. We have some cooked crawfish, and we're going to be boiling it up here with Pinch Boil House. Andrew Ho is here. He's one of the co-owners out there. And also joining us right now, DJ Hamburger from 98.5. And, I mean, you actually, you love food too, right? Man, I love to eat. Who doesn't love Who to doesn't eat? Who doesn't love to eat? <laughs> Especially crawfish that looks uh, just delicious. Oh, and one's getting away. Go. We, gotta, we got one Woo. getting away. So... We're gonna get boiling though. This one's already done, but yep. you actually have the water boiling. So what's yep. the first step you do to get these guys cooked awesome. up? Awesome, so we're gonna take some of these live crawfish. We only uh, use live crawfish. Uh -huh. Get some of these guys in here. Right into the pot. There you go. Bye Dave, guys. if you wanna help me out. Yeah. Do a little thing right there. So we got another thing of these, and these are, I mean, look how huge these yep. are. These live are crawfish straight from Louisiana. Right into the boiling water. Right Oop. in. Sorry, Ted. Sorry about there that. You go. <laughs> I'm all splashing Ted. All right. Awesome. So, and you have like some accoutrement on there. What do you got go. there? We got sausage, corn, and potatoes, the classics. Yeah. Uh, we'll get those in there also. Nice. And then, Dave, if you want to spice this up a little bit. Okay, actually, go I'll, ahead. I'll give you the, give the you honors go. over here. DJ Hamburger, throw them the sauce over there. The hey, seasoning. Hey, nice. Damn. <laughs> That's awesome. awesome. That looks pretty good, right? Cool. Yeah, that looks get good. That mixed up a little bit go. in there. Oh, awesome. there you go. And that's, so that's, uh, how long does this process usually take? Uh, this will take, take about 10 minutes or so. Okay. Um, you let them in there, they'll soak up all the juices, and when you take them out, we're gonna sauce them a little bit even more. Nice. Um, so and that's that where out. we're at right here, actually. So this is what it looks like when they're all done. You can see the tail's curving in, right? Yep. And that looks that's good, right? That means, <laughs> that means it's done, right? Exactly, yep. Okay, perfect. So what's the next step? We got this like this. I know you have this delicious sauce here, too. Awesome, yeah. So we're gonna take this little mixing bowl. Uh -huh. Pour this in here. Oh, cool. And then, if you guys just want to do about I'll three ladles of the, that yeah. into there, three, three ladles. Yeah. Well, there you go. Nice and sauced. Ooh. And what kind of sauce is this? This is a garlic butter sauce. So, me and my family, my grandmother, we practiced this a lot growing up, and we would be like, do we want more spice, more garlic, more butter? Yeah. And then after a bit, we just uh, got to this, and everyone really, really liked it. And so what? And now you just kind of toss it. Yeah, we'll it? just toss it a little bit. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Y'all, nice. watch out, y'all. I'm gonna. <laughs> There hey, you go. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. While hey. he's doing that, I'm going to get a little bit of that yeah. in there. A little pinch of something on there. There we go. There that looks you pretty go. good. Awesome. Yep. That looks awesome. All right. And so then we'll get, pour that right into there. And this is the finished product. And yeah. you guys got this happening right now at Pinch Boil House, but it's not just uh, crawfish out there, right? Exactly. Yeah. We have crawfish. We have uh, shrimp, crab, mussels. Yeah. Wings, fries <laughs> with crab, everything. So go for it. Oh, it's yeah, good. there now, you go. I know that you actually you're very interested in food as well. You actually got your own seasoning, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You know what? Do you? <laughs> oh, you actually got it on you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he look at it, he has his own. Oh, he's gonna put a little something on there it. There you yeah, go. Do it. Saying, like, oh, there. hey. <laughs> but look, check it out. It actually is. It's the official Ham's Burger seasoning and more. That's right. I you love it. You can put it. it on crawfish too. You can Why put not? it on anything, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You had amazing. Some. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's really good. Here, jump in here, Andrew. Awesome. You guys, awesome. you can enjoy yourselves. Go out to Pinch Boil House. Sure it's right downtown, and you guys can go get all this delicious <laughs> food. I mean, it's a perfect time to go get some crawfish. Mm. Oh my goodness! Wow. That sauce. That sauce yeah. is where it's at, right? There you go. Yeah, we're I'm gonna let y'all try some too here in a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh, mm. delicious. Andrew, thank you so much for being awesome. here. Thank you. Thanks yeah, for having Pinch us. Pinch Boyle House, located right downtown. DJ Hamburger, killing it all the time on 98.5 out there. Keep doing your thing, man. No doubt. Seasoning is great. And we'll be right back with more Elder Eats to say goodbye. We're going to keep eating, though. I'm going to eat like five more of these things. <laughs> more of this. Put, put the seasoning on. Oh, look, you got the tail out. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Hey, guys. Yes, well, thank you so much for watching Elder Eats. It was a great show. We were eating all eating crawfish out. It's really good, right? Yeah. yeah. Pinch Boil House. They're hooking it up out there. Thank you so much to the Lala's Gorditas, to Good Fire Barbecue, and to Buffalo Snacks Food Truck. You can head over to eldereats.com right now and vote for Munch Madness. We got food trucks all on there, and they're all trying to win, but there's actually two left all for the week. So vote for the best one. And I'm just, I'm loving life, man. You got, you got it's all finished now, right? We'll do one more of these. Yep. Who we'll wants get... more crawfish? We yeah. Woo! There we go. Oh, watch out. Watch Ooh. out now. It's a, it's, it's a boil out here at Market Square. We're going down. There you go. I'm gonna sauce it up, man. Oh, that looks great. 
Well, awesome. again, next Thursday at 1.30, it's a brand new episode of Elder Eats. So stay tuned every Thursday at 1.30. Of course, SA Live every weekday at 1 o'clock. I love it. Great stuff. Thanks for being here, guys. Yeah, DJ Hamburger 98.5. Make sure you're listening. I'm going to dip right here.